uh, you can see I've done a few things to the car since I bought it. Um, did the interior kit. It's also on the center console here. It covers all of that. Um, piano black plastic. But still loving the car. Um, got uh, 2287 miles on it now. Um, you know, I really like it. Definitely like all the features that it has, especially all the safety features. And like I said, it has a really good solid ride in town. And like I said, it's roomy. Got a lot bigger trunk than my Mirage did. Um, and you know though, honestly, power-wise, I don't notice much difference between this and the Mirage. Like, especially in the summer when it's hot and the air is on. And from what I've tested them, like zero to 60 in my own test, there's only like not even a second difference. I mean, this isn't even a second faster. And again, I never had any problems with the power in the Mirage. So I knew this would be no problem. But just, I'll just do like a quick, uh, short drive here with it. I do like how the steering wheel vibrates too, um, if you go over the line, like with the lane departure, um, it does the light up, like you'll see here, and then it vibrates the steering wheel. I like that a lot better than the beeping, because a lot of the problem when you have the music up, you don't hear the beeping, um, but you feel the vibration in the steering wheel, so I actually like how they did that. The other thing I really like, um, compared to like our Eclipse Cross, I like where they put the blind spot warning lights, which are um, right there in the A pillar versus in the mirror. You can see them a lot better. Um, and the nice thing about this car too, it allows you to adjust the brightness on it. it, has three settings, like, you know, a lower brightness, normal, and then bright. And of course I keep it on the brightest, that way I can, um, you know, see it really good, whether it's in bright light, dim light, whatever, you can see it. So, that's kind of cool. They give you a lot of options to customize the safety features, too. And this cluster here, I really like. Um, you know, I do use the varying screens. And you can see, I get pretty decent mileage, too. And on the SR, it has the chassis control, kind of like a, it uses the engine and the brakes and like the vehicle dynamic control to adjust like the pitch, you know, motions on bumpy roads to help with the ride some. And it also um, does active engine braking too. You can turn that on or off so that when you're slowing down, it helps engine brake. I really like it because it does save your brakes. Like if you're slowing down a freeway ramp, um, it'll kind of engine brake some for you to help. It's got like the active ride control and that's only standard on the SR trim. And then of course this one also has the um, adaptive cruise. Like if you set that, it'll that you can take the speed up and down and you can adjust the gap and of course there's the music and then you know the tachometer 
I usually keep it on the tachometer. Um, this setting here, or this one. They're usually the three I tend to use. And the other thing I really like is the, in the SR, premium, the SR Premium. I love the seat material, this Primatex. It's like a leatherette, but it's really, um, I don't know, it really holds up well. Like, it doesn't show any wear, and it's got more of like a matte finish instead of like the shiny leather feeling. I really like it, and the seats in the front of this are like perfect for me. I've seen some reviews where people say the seats are uncomfortable. I, I mean, personally for me, I'm, I'm just shy of six foot. They're the best seats I've ever had in any car. Um, you know, we've had, you know, a Kia Soul, a Hyundai Sonata, um, two Mitsubishi Eclipse Crosses, an Outlander Sport, uh, Mirages, um, a Hyundai Elantra, a Cavalier. I mean, we've had a bunch of different cars. Um, and these are hands down the most comfortable seats. I know they're them zero gravity seats, but they tend to just hold your back, you know, like perfectly like you don't get no backache or anything so for me they're doing what they're supposed to do I mean I really like the seats <laughs> and of course the little sport button that's down there on the back of the shifter when you push that it just kind of adjusts the RPMs by very little it does make it a tad bit more peppy, but not much in my opinion. You know, more so the only thing I use it for is if I'm going down like a steep hill for a long time, that's it. But with that active engine braking, you really don't even need it if you have that one. And the other thing I like about this, um, it has the same CVT transmission as um, all three of my Mitsubishi Mirages had. It's made by Jadco, and it's the CVT-7. Um, of course, Nissan, you know, and Mitsubishi, even though it's the same transmission, they each kind of do their own thing with, like, um, programming to give it a different feel. Um, but Nissan has really improved the transmissions compared to that first generation. You don't hear near the issues they used to have on these newer ones if you do the research. Um, but if you watch, I'll kind of get into it a little here, and you can watch how it shifts. It feels just, to me, like a regular automatic. Um, where the Mirage, it wasn't programmed that way. It more so took it up and kind of held it and such. Now, if you floor this car from, and like, a standstill and push it right down... It'll take it up to like 6,000 and hold it there. But if you pull out gradually and then floor it, it'll do the step shifting, um, like simulate the shifts the whole time. So personally, I like that. It feels like more peppy. It feels like it gives you more power. Like when you push it down to pass someone, it's nice because you can feel it down shifting to give you more power and stuff instead of just staying up at that red line. So personally, I really like how they've done the transmission in this. Um, and in the newer ones, um, like I said, you don't hear about the issues like that first gen um, CVTs they had. And it's all really in maintenance. Like, you know, just get the CVT fluid done every 30,000 miles or three years, whichever comes first. Um, that's what we've done in our Eclipse Cross. Um, and of course, our Eclipse Cross has the Jadco CVT too, but I believe it's the CVT 8 in that one. And like I said, we've had that car It'll be five years in October. We've not had one issue with it or the transmission. And, you know, this is our seventh, I guess, seventh vehicle that have had the Jacko CVTs, and we've not had any issues with them. And now we take care of our cars, of course, and, you know, do the maintenance early and stuff. But, you know, no issues so far. And my coworker, 
she's had three mirages also. Um, and her first one, her 15, she had it for five and a half years. Um, and again, it was the same CVT that this car has. And she had no issues with it. She had the CVT transmission fluid done um, at like 35,000. But anyway, just wanted to do a kind of quick video, um, still kind of early, so a little rough sounding and not quite awake yet, but just wanted to do a kind of drive around video since I haven't got to do one in a while. And um, I did, you know, get to finish all the Nissan um, Color Studio things on it. So I was able to get the orange mirror caps, um, the orange spoiler, the orange door handles, um, the orange lower door trim, and then the orange strip at the tip of the hood. So now everything is orange with the gray. There's no more black left on it. So I need to do an exterior video to kind of show what I've done to it. All right, just wanted to do a quick video. Thanks.